Welcome to Max in 5, I'm going to teach you some cool stuff inside 3ds Max in under 5 minutes. I want to show you the difference between a 3D snap and a 2.5D snap and when to use it and how you should use it. So the golden rule that I created is as follows. If you are in a 2D view, and a 2D view is the top, front, back, left, right, bottom. Those are your 2D views. A 3D view is your perspective view. So if you're in a 2D view, use the 2.5. If you are in a 3D view, use the 3D snap. So let's show the difference. Let's grab a line tool, make sure that we are in 3D snap. I'm going to snap and just follow the shape right here. Very simple. And I'm going to click the close button. If I go into perspective mode now, this is what we have. Now generally, if you are tracing an AutoCAD file, this is not what you want. So what it's done is, it's actually snapped to the highest point of each object. So that's what the 3D snap has done. If we go into the top view and follow the rule, which means that if I'm in a 2D view, I must use the 2D snap, I'm now going to do the exact same procedure. What this is going to do, it's going to ignore the 3D objects and it is going to draw perfectly flat, which means it's gone to the Z plane. So remember, this is the Z plane. So that is why you use a 2D snap in a 2D view. Now, if you are in a 3D view, which of course is your perspective view, if we grab the 3D snap, then grab a line, I can snap basically anywhere that I want, and I'm following all of the points. That makes sense, because we're in a 3D view with a 3D snap. You will not be able to do that in the 2D snap. So, 2D, in perspective, which is wrong, have a look. If I try snap here, it's just not going to work. It is trying to snap, but it's not going to work. So remember, golden rule. 3D snap is for a 3D view. A 2D snap is for a 2D view. And then the same can be done if you're moving objects around. For example, I want to snap this box to that point there. Now, I'm in a 3D view, but I'm going to activate the 2D snap. And as I go there, it's just not snapping. So if you've ever encountered this very irritating thing, where it's just not wanting to snap where you want it to be, have a look at the snap that you're in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate the 3D snap because I'm in a 3D view. And now, very simple, it actually just snaps exactly where I want it to be. Which is awesome. So, make sure that you're in the right mode when using snap and it'll work. I really hope this tutorial helps. I'll catch you in the next one.